morning, Henry. Well, this is my job? I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight oh. to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me? You creep. How do I... Oh, there's the radio. Hi. Why are you creeping on me? Where are you? Hey, sorry. Show Just yourself. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. How'd you like this? Eh. Hey. What am I looking for? Locate round thing. Oh, map. Hi. How's it going? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, no, I'm looking at a picture. Hello. What the fuck? Uh, how do I compass? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Yes, I fucking see them. They're right there. Whoa. Oh, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like away. <laughs> Go down there. You and think so? Straight. Um, can I beat like, them up? Kick the shit out of them, sort of straight. No, 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 Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Uh, that sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Bye, map. Okay, let's go find them. Let's go find some firework users and let's stop all the fun. No fun allowed. This is mass swamp for forest thing. There's my map. Hello. Uh. Hmm. Fireworks. Where did the fireworks go? Is it this way? I'm gonna say it's this way. Let's go. Put the map away. We go we go on our own. We don't need no maps. Where's my, my run button? There we go. Let's go get them. Uh, I'm very... Oh. There's... Well, there's a prompt thing to do, so I must be going in the right direction. Because otherwise I'd probably have hit a solid wall by now. Hello. Uh, I found the supply, supply box. box. Oh. Okay then. What well, what was the code? Oh shit. I don't have the code. Uh hello? Hey, what's the code, code again? One, two, three, four. The whole lot of them. You might want to not put them as one, two, three, four. Just saying. It's probably pretty easy to to to, to copy. And do things with the copyings, and to guess that's the one I wanted. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Put one of those bars you liked hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Goodbye, no. Uh, I'll take the rope. Thank you. 
And I will take your granola bar. I do not want your pine cone, however. I also do not need to use this yet. I... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay. Uh, fireworks. I'm starting to hear them. They're over here somewhere. Where are you? Hmm. So it looks like we're out of backstory for now. Which is a shame I was kind of getting into that, to be honest. So it's... Oh, what? What would I miss? Hello? What, what did I miss? It said rope hook. Hello? Oh god, it was there again. What's happening? It's that. It did that from like two miles away. What the hell? Okay, where's my rope? That's not my rope. That's a granola bar. Change it. Please. Uh. People just sure. stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Hey. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. How how do I rope? Eh. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Uh hmm. What about um I, I'm not going to call you a shitty boss. I don't know if you are or not yet. How do you expect me there. to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash there it we to go. something nearby and take it slow. Okay. So, let me grab my granola bar back. And... Um... Let me do this. Yay! Right. Onwards. And downwards. It's getting dark. No, no, no. Oh, oh god, no! Oh. Welp. You alright there, buddy? You doing it okay? You fine? You still wear your wedding ring. So she must still be alive then, at least. Or at least you're still married. That's hey. a thing. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Yeah. God damn. Be careful. Okay. Old climbing gear. Uh. Eh. Right. So I need to find another rope. Where'd my granola bar go? Give, give me this. Yeah. Okay. Should I just eat it? Yeah, eat it. Do it. There you go. Have have food. Have fun. Stuff. Right, so now we need to find another rope. Just so we can move on down there. God damn it. So am I just looking for another supply crate? Maybe? Possibly. Perhaps. Can't hear the fireworks anymore. But there's there's beer cans. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Okay. Can I steal their backpacks? They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Goodbye, fire. Fuck you. Can oh, shit. I am taking yeah, your whiskey. Here. You left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. This is now mine. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Well, left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? 
won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Yeah. Uh, can you do it instead? Uh, oh my. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's... You know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, I found them. God damn it. Yo. Yo. Give me this. Okay. Yep, that's me. And it won't be your stereo, Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah. Excuse me? Excuse me? Fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Yeah, get lost. Dingles. Alright. Oh shit, I need to find a way back. Uh hmm. Hey, that guy. I don't okay? Uh, it went sure. Fine. Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Uh, sure. Uh, now, can you help me get back? This is not the way forward. Uh, uh oh. I'm in trouble. Um, this way, I guess. Let's go. Get out of here. This is my woods. Okay. So. It's getting dark again. Well, I mean, the last time that happened, there was there was a story. So, there, that might be something to look forward to. But for now, it's just sort of hiking, climbing, and stuff. That's just okay, I guess, but it's not really my thing. It's some people's thing. That's so okay. I have a bit of a confession to make. Uh huh. What is it? What? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, congratulations. You're not supposed to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Uh, I don't really care. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Sure. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Ah, oh, God damn it. Run! Run away! I don't want to get wet. I don't want to get wet. No, rain sucks. It's horrible, like... Well, actually, it depends on what type of rain it is, if it's horrible or not. Because, like, if it's, like, the really, really, really thick rain, with, like, big, big blobs, then it's fine. It's not too bad. Like, you get wet, you're a little annoyed, but it's fine. But if it's, like, really, really fine rain, like, the tiny little bits of it, then that is just really, really irritating. Because that soaks you all the way through and there is nothing you can do about it. You, you've just got to deal with it. And you're just like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's good, that's real good. Where's the flashlight? Go that way. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for flashlight. That's also not flashlight. And there's that. Nope. Okay. Apparently I just can't use flashlight with controller. That's, that's good. Good game. Uh, where the hell is my lookout? I have no idea where I'm going. I really should have left, like, breadcrumbs or something. Or skittles. You know, something that I could use to track my way back. But no, no, no. 
I just ran away. Hello. Uh, what are these power lines doing out here to the north? Those are comms lines. They connect folks like me to Central Command. Got it. And if you can see them, that means you turn north of the cave and far, oh, far away from Two Forks. You should head back. Uh, no, my lookout is over there, friend. I see it. Uh, let, let me... You son of a bitch. Okay. Let's just keep moving our way over here and stay away from the drunk lady who obviously doesn't know where my lookout point is. You can see it's there. It's right there. Um, I can open this. This is safe. Hello. Cigarette boxes. I don't know what that green light is. Hello. Oh, a guitar. It's a destroyed guitar, but it's, it could still be good. All you've got to do is give it a little bit of love, you know? Uh, eh. Open. Oh my God. <gasps> God damn! Hi, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Holy crap, I think I might have just gotten rabies. Go on. I, I'm sniffing around an old lookout and I got attacked by a raccoon. Did he bite you? I, I don't think so. Yeah, you're probably fine. Wait, is the lookout you're in burned to a crisp and filled with raccoons? Uh, apparently. Ooh, Hawk's Rest. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, I see what you're doing. What, what do you mean? I just like to stay out of haunted places myself. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. Sure, go on, go on about it. it. You want to hear about Raccoon Carter. <laughs> so, some years ago, way before my time, a man named Winthrop Carter was stationed at Hawk's Rest. He was an angry, angry loner. The story was he lost his life savings betting on horse fights. Horse fights? In Mexico. So he did what a lot of us do in times of trouble. He signed up with the Forest Service to watch for fires. His first night in his lookout, there was a break-in, and the break-ins didn't stop. Finally, one night, he awoke to find someone in his lookout. He reached for his hand axe and threw it at the figure. But just before the axe killed its target, he heard a small voice cry, Help! What was it? A raccoon. Oh, of course. See, back in these days, the Forest Service wasn't so good about dropping off food and supplies, and... Well, Carter was hungry. So he did what anyone would do. He skinned and ate it. Eventually, Carter didn't want to eat anything else. It was raccoons or nothing. But one night, as he sharpened his raccoon blade, there was a scratching at the door. He looked towards it, and again, heard a tiny voice. Help! Help! He approached slowly, knife in hand, and ripped the door open. But no one was there. But then, from under the bed, he heard another small voice. Help! Help! Carter looked under the bed, and of course, nothing was there either. So, startled, but believing he was just tired, Raccoon Carter went out hunting, and for the first night in months, came up empty. Now, in bed, his stomach rumbling, he hears the voice again. Help! Help! And now, he wonders if it's coming from inside of him. But then... A figure appears at the edge of the bed. Again, he reaches for his axe, but in its place is another figure. He looks for the door, and there are more and more figures. Beady, glowing eyes peering out through dark masks. He leaps out of bed, horrified, slips and hits his head. And before he can get up, he feels hundreds of little fingers and razor-sharp teeth digging into his skin. Far away in Bighorn Tower, the lookout reported hearing a voice echoing through the valley loud at first and then smaller and smaller until they faded away forever. Help! 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 And that's the story of Raccoon Carter. His ghost still wanders through the valley moaning, help! Help! on hot summer nights. Hmm. It's a good story, but um, yeah, I, I, forgive me for not believing it. <laughs> Hello?
Hello? Why you did... Hello? It's not letting me get an answer from her. Weird. I don't get it. I, I wanted to know. I wanted to know the rest of the story. I also have no idea where the hell I'm going. This is the only place to go, apparently. Hmm. Did I just go over here? I think I tried this. I'm almost certain I tried this. Yeah, I did. God damn it. What have I been missing? What am I missing? I just, that was the way I came in, right? Right. And over here's the house. Pretty sure. Yep. No. Yep. Okay. Did I miss a way out of here? Oh, I couldn't do that before. Oh, there's a bed in here, and from the looks of it, it's where the fire was the worst. Why the hell won't she answer me? Weird. Uh, hmm. Looks like I'm on my own. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know where to go. I've looked everywhere. <laughs> hmm. The fuck? Okay. I just meant to follow them because I can't. I've tried. And if I go back there, that's me going back to where I came from once again. And there was nothing down there. I couldn't do anything. I don't know where to go. I think we're done. I think this is just our life now. We will forever be wandering here. Jump it. End it all. God damn it. Uh, hmm. Nope, just can't jump that one either. Fair enough. Can I go up here? Nope. So, this is fun, being able to do nothing, this is really good, if it could give me a hint that would be much appreciated here, because I don't know, I really really don't know, I don't even know how to get back to the lake, I, I don't understand what I'm meant to be doing here, I don't think there's anything I can do here, it's just not a thing that can happen right now. Is this the lake? Might be, you know. Maybe. No, it's not. It's a cave. I haven't been here yet, I don't think. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's the sun, but it's blue. I, d I don't know why it's blue. But it's blue. And here's a cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Cave. Oh, you're back. Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. <laughs> it doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. 
Let's head back up here, shall we? Ooh, spacer. <coughs> Hi. Uh, what the fuck? There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? Mm-hmm. It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. <laughs> People come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Um, I, I don't know about that. I think you have a uh, strange sense of fun there. Be free! Oh, that is not how I thought that would go. God damn it. Oh, that, that didn't want to do that. But it's done now. So let's just keep dropping, I guess. That would be sad if I need to be up there. Uh, it looks like I might need to be up there. God damn it. Well, it'll be faster to run it. Unless I'm going down here. Which I don't think I am. Do I, can I see my watchtower yet? Nope. My watch has not ended. I'm quite sad about this. Because I would like to go to bed, to be honest with you. But, that's just not the world we live in, apparently. You've just gotta give and give and give, and then people want some more. And that's the end of it. So, we're just gonna claim some more rocks, and hopefully that's the, the end of today's shenanigans. Nope. Not today. Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, well, that was lucky. Hey, look! There's a tower. Let's look at our sign, and then we'll see our tower. What the fuck? <laughs> Here, you can go. Put it up properly. You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> what kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. That's nice. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Can I pee? You must be desperate. You haven't been since at least yesterday. Because you got up and we just immediately went and wrecked it. What the fuck? Why is my typewriter out here? This is my typewriter. Who's up here? Who did this? Billy, who did this to you? I did that. Okay. Okay. Typewriter, dead. Someone broke in. Hey, what? 
They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Dude, God. Bah. They opened my cookbook. The place is trashed. Give me this. Okay, bah. I'll Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Bah. Um. Maybe that guy, guy. on the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And. Now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. I won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Uh, where can I get a gun? The Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh, uh, okay then.